Well, welcome back to our week of prayer. Bill, can't thank you enough for being with us. Oh, thank you. You know, what a privilege to pray with you. Yeah, um, it's been great. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. One of our brothers here, right? Really? Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, refreshing because you've got an a interesting perspective and he yeah. really, you bring a, a, a lot of just, you know, right down in the trench front line yeah. understanding. Yeah. Thank you. And you know what, when you're pastoring, you see a lot, don't you? You really do. And one of the things that we see in our churches if we're willing to have our eyes open is the reality of not just brokenness but specifically those who are actually caught in the slavery of our day which is human trafficking right. yeah. and this atrocity in Canada is something that I know personally I've had to have a wake-up call to and I remember Paul Bogue on our program and yep. he wrote the book the true story of this of sex trafficking in Canada and it was such an eye-opener Sometimes we come with our assumptions about human trafficking. Yeah. You know, they maybe right. they choose to be there. Why do they? Why can't they just get out? You know, what have you seen, Bill, in this regard? Yeah, well, I think that's the major misconception. We we see them as willing participants, and the reality is, is many of them, most of them, are victims. Um, and I was thinking about Jesus in, in Luke four when he is uh, proclaiming freedom for yeah. those who are oppressed. Yeah. And I and I think we need to change our perspective and pray for the freedom for those who are oppressed put in a situation not of their own choosing for whatever reason and just believe that God can deliver. God yeah. does heal. Yeah. Yes. He does restore. Yeah. There's always hope. And if we can cling to that, that's the message we need to hold on to. Absolutely. Bill, I think you're so right because, you know, when he was talking about the woman that was caught in the act of adultery, right. said, the hammer told us, you know, the wicked sinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reality of that is we are all without Christ, that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, how did she get there where all these men were around and wanting her Correct. to receive the death sentence? What I've discovered, especially with human trafficking yeah. in Canada, that uh, there's a trauma bond. And it usually happens, and, and those that are being trafficked are usually between the ages of, of 12 and 17. Yeah. Those are the highest amount. Yes. And for one, one particular uh, person in traffic, they can make up to $250,000. So literally, a person that develops this trauma bond finds our ch children kind of hanging around, and you would think they're coming from everywhere else, but they're right here. They're Canadians. Right, right. they're Canadians. Yes. They're, they're actually luring yes. young girls right from the backyards of what we would consider, you know, good homes. Good right. homes. Yeah. And, and when you think about what's happening, it's over a $50 million a year industry right in the 401 corridor Door, and in this 905, and um, with over 50,000 people yeah. working at the airport at Pearson International. And I know we're talking about Canada, but this is an issue that we now have to be abolitionists. Yes, we That do. we have to start rising up and say, this is not acceptable. Exactly. And like to identify even know what to look for. That's yes. one thing Paul helped us with, like know what to look for, especially yes. if there's a change in your daughters or a change in your friends or the way they dress or the way they're interacting. I talked to a woman just recently who had actually, she was works at a strip club. She's been there for many years. She's got kids. I'm like, why do you do this? Like, yeah. just to be real. She's like, for the money. Yeah. But I'm like, no, no, no. There's something else underneath that. We had a great conversation. I was able to pray with her, but you know, we need freedom, don't we, across yeah. our nation? And we need to have a greater awareness of this atrocity of slavery in our land. And, and, and that's why I believe that, you know, we need to dial in. As we reframe, we could reframe yeah. from knee jerk because this yeah. trauma bond yeah. where, you know, you have this John or this pimp that comes in and just wins them. I believe people are dealing with traumas in their lives and that makes them vulnerable. Yeah. And that's why they're doing this because they really believe that person loves them when they're really taking advantage of them. And I believe if we can pray about God, break mm. those traumas, trauma bonds, because yes. yes. I think we all have those bonds inside yeah. of our heart, right? Well, yeah. and I think the thing is, we, we often respond with condemnation. Right. Mm. And the reality is that they already feel that condemnation. Yeah. And like you said, the love in their life has been violated and twisted yes. and distorted. Yes. And the only remedy is God's yeah. true love. Yeah. And so as followers of Christ, the question isn't just, pr like, we need to pray about it, but we actually need to do something yes. about yes. that. Right. Who in your circle of influence, how can you love someone into the kingdom. In action. Think, yeah. yes. yes. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, right. but to save the world. How? Right. Through yeah. his love. Yeah. Yes. Through his death and resurrection. Yeah. Well, let's pray for that breaking yes. let's of do that. the trauma and also that people would engage, right? Yes. Yeah. The abolitionists, rise yeah. up. Why don't you like start, Brian? And yeah. Then I love and, and Father, you know, as we connect with those partners mm -hmm. that have sent in prayers, yes. Lord, we take aim. And you said, 
Lord, wherever there are two or three touching and agreeing, and there are multitudes with us right now in this week of prayer, and we here at the 700 Club Canada now, Lord, touch and agree and ask you, Lord, that you would expand these chains, this modern-day slavery, these trauma bonds, God, that there would be now the blood of Jesus. For you said in John chapter 8, Lord, whom the Son makes free is free indeed. And you came to destroy the works of the devil. This is demonic, Father. And we know that it's only possible when people rise up. So, Lord, raise the abolitionists up. Raise that spirit and that spark in our heart, not to judge, but to now, Lord, have discernment to see, Lord, these issues in Jesus' name. Jesus. Yes, and Father, I just pray that you'd open our eyes to see your daughters. Yes. This isn't some nameless problem that's outside of us. These are daughters sons and daughters that you love and you cherish. Amen. So God, I just pray, even as we look at all these prayer requests, each yes. of these prayer requests represent a person, a name yes. that yes. you know. And so I pray for freedom mm. from oppression, open Jesus. eyes for those who are yes. blind, those, again, the chains that would be broken. God, would you just give us a love that compels us and moves us to action? Yeah. God, you want us to pray because it connects us to you, but you also want us to move. Yes. You want us to move with your heart and your spirit. So for our nation, God, would you raise up a generation that would do bring change, bring change that bring desperately change. is needed in your love, I ask in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. We pray for your eyes to see, Father. Mm -hmm. We pray for your heart yes. to love. Yeah. We pray that we would truly reflect who you are in this broken world, that yes. those of us who follow you, Lord oh, Jesus, God. would be ambassadors for the gospel of, that reconciles us to God, mm -hmm. that brings about the ministry of reconciliation, that you would stir in our hearts that step to take, that person to talk to that mm. that organization to partner with that yes. that whatever that yeah. looks yeah. like even to stop to look one in the eye yes. and to say Jesus loves mm. you <coughs> you can be set free make each one of us quick to respond because in you Jesus break the name. bonds of slavery and we agree together in Jesus name Jesus may name. it be so Amen. Yes. I feel that. And so it be. Let it be so. You know, we really appreciate you. Thank you for sending in your prayer request. Thank you for standing with us. We love you. We couldn't do it without you. Until next time, God bless.